today I'm using the model 625 HDP bilge pump hand dredge from Golden Sipper Products. You can tell this is a bilge pump because the discharge valve precedes the 90 degree elbow. On this particular model here, the bearing allows you to rotate the dredge 360 degrees and the unique design of the bearing ensures that there'll be no sand fouling and you'll be able to rotate the elbow all day long. Also, I'm using the 24 inch telescoping pipe assembly which allows you to extend the length of the pipe out to 24 inches. And also, there's no sand fouling on this either. It'll allow you to dredge all day if it either collapsed or extended and then at the end of the day, laps it back down. Now, I'm also using the inch and a half seal lined restrictor nozzle to reduce the incidence of plug ups in the inch and a half diameter hose. Also, I brought along the experimental cashing, which I've used to secure the experimental gravity trap concentrator to a suitable rock. Now I've been manicuring this bedrock for about a couple hours and you can see how well the 625 suctions out all of the sand, silt, and gravel from in the cracks that are on the bedrock. Okay, let's get back to work. see the water clearing out. At over 25 gallons a minute, the silty water clears out quick using a 625. Allowing you to get a better look at the features and the rocks. Isn't that beautiful? No sand fouling. I've made quite a lot of progress suction dredging, or I should say hand suction dredging, the bedrock here. The bedrock's really clean right now. I cleaned all of this area off here. You can see the fine detail on the bedrock. I don't see any gold on it at all. I went over it all with the model 625 HDP bilge pump style hand dredge. It worked beautiful for hand dredging looking for gold. I was able to clean all of this bedrock off here really good. You can see all this area in here. It's all clean. There's nothing on it at all. I got down into the cracks and crevices. There's a few places where there's some gravel it looks like I missed. But for the most part it's really clean all the way back into here and I got down into here, way down into here, the entire depth of the hand dredge itself. Way down in there. I was able to suction that out way down in that far. That's a good, what, 20 inches anyway? Now you can see that there's a lot of water and a lot of material coming out over there at the discharge end of the experimental gravity trap concentrator. Now the unique thing about this type of a pumping system is when you stretch it out and let it go, it wants to go back down on its own. You got to clear out the concentrator once in a while. The model 625 can really pump a lot of material through.
Okay, I'm about all done hand dredge prospecting for today. I got a lot of tailings over here from pumping material through the Model 625 and the Experimental Gravity Trap Concentrator. Nice size gravel. I'm going to flush a little extra water through the concentrator just to kind of make it easier on me when it comes to panning this out. And this was all done with the Model 625 HDP bilge pump style hand dredge, the one with the 90 degree, well actually one with the 90 degree elbow and a 360 degree rotational bearing in there. It doesn't matter, you know, there's no stop on it. You can just rotate it any way you want. And there's minimal, if no sand fouling at all, to have to worry about. Now it's time to clean out the experimental gravity trap concentrator. And like I said before earlier, I lashed it to a rock with some cargo lashing. And that not only helped maintain the proper angle all day, but allowed me to move it around to different positions. And with the intermittent pumping action, I believe that I didn't lose any gold. We'll see when I pan out. There's another piece right there. Look at that. That's a nice one. Nice size flake. Okay, so there is gold there. Very good. And there you go. The final tally for another day with the experimental gravity trap concentrator and the golden sniffer products model 625 HDP bilge pump style gold hand dredge.